So if you look at the uh, the camera from the top, uh, you will see that when I'm drilling the hole, I tend to make a curve here, give a curve here. So the the inside of a, a ball has a nicer curve. If you try to open a, a 90 degrees, then you're gonna end up with a gap there. So we'll make sure that when you are making a ball, plan ahead. Make sure that you have the uh, the curve here. And personally, I prefer a small foot uh, noodle ball. Uh, you can make your base wider, but uh, my personal preference, I like to have a smaller ball. So the whole piece looks uh, lighter. And before my move, I usually like to uh, cold the surface so it's slippery. And uh, I don't usually throw with a sponge because using a sponge you tend to uh, squeeze a lot of water. So I just dip my fingertip in the water and then just take it to the surface and smooth it. Right, so I think this is uh, thin enough, so I will start to uh, shape it, stretch it a tiny little bit. And I usually like to uh, take care of the outside first, so using a metal rip to remove all the slip.
I compress and smooth the rim a bit before I take care of the inside of the pole. And you can see that when I'm shaping, I slow down my wheel speed. Okay, so the outside looks good. And uh, if you like it, you can take, uh, remove a little bit of a clay from the corner here. So when you're taking care of the uh, inside of the bottom, the clay is not in the way. Let's use a wooden knife to uh, remove it. And then on uh, my number 10 cutting knife to undercut it. Okay, so the uh, number 10 knife is good for undercutting and also, also very good for trim to uh, level the, the rim. But uh, in this case, I don't have to, to do that because the, my rim is very stable, very uh, smooth. And now the uh, inside here, you especially this part here from the top, this part here sometimes is not quite smooth. You might have a little bump. So uh, you could use a uh, wooden rib to uh, my wooden rib, okay, or any kind of rib, but my rib is special design so there's a, a curve on both sides here so it's easier to compress without uh, catch or getting any unwanted chattering just start it from the very center and then i gradually roll roll the uh, wooden rib sideway okay so this is what i do put it there and using this part here to uh, compress it this part here and then kind of rotate my rib and if you want to push it a little bit uh, uh, shallow you can tip over your, your rib okay if you don't just hold straight okay and if you tip over the side of the uh, rib is compressing down the piece so your piece will be a little bit shallower And you don't need to go all the way here, just here. You can just start by using your hand to stretch. Most important part is from this, the center to here, to about one third of it. That corner is very, uh, very hard to uh, take care of if you don't have the right tool. Okay, So I remove the water, you can see the inside is very smooth, nicely curved. And if you don't like the, uh, the wooden texture from the rib, you could use a uh, metal rib to remove it. Okay, so this is the metal rib, but you gotta, you gotta watch out when you're trying to use a very sharp edge of the tool. Uh, you don't want to cross over the uh, very center point. If you cross over, it's against the direction of the wheel and then you will get, your tool is going to uh, get caught in that and the uh, the service is not going to be uh, nice. So always start from maybe a one eighth or maybe quarter of inch away from the center and start to move 
If your wheel is spinning counterclockwise, move to your right. If your wheel is spinning clockwise, move to your left. Okay. I think I slightly bend that bend so your tool will have a nicer cut by following through the uh, metal rib. Right, so that's the uh, the ball, and if you're on the rim, uh, visually it looks the ball is very light. You can actually make the rim use the uh, chamois, okay, to uh, squeeze it. So the rim is a little bit thinner, so visually, okay, give people some impression that this ball is very uh, very light, very thin, by just squeezing the rim a, a tiny little bit. Okay, you put your ball finger there, and then. Just uh, fingertip to uh, compress it, and then uh, this part visually looks thin, but actually it's not that thin. Okay, so that's the. Um, demonstration of uh, throwing this ball and uh, this ball is about three pounds of a clay uh, I don't want to uh, throw it very very thin because when it's very thin you don't keep the foam uh, nice and uh, straight so sometimes it get wobble if you stretch too much make it too thin so keep it a little bit of a thickness and uh, you can remove uh, the clay at the trim so if you want to make it thinner wait until the clay gets thinner and they use a very sharp knife a uh, sharp trimming tool uh, you can remove the clay easily so you don't need to uh, throw it very thin okay just thin enough and still hold the shape nicely and that's the uh, the the kind of shape uh, i am looking for and uh, you can take care of it easy easier much easier when the clay is drier and then just trim trim and remove it all right so hope this demonstration helped and uh, i will show you how i uh, do the uh, trimming and do the uh, screw fiddle carving and chattering okay thanks for watching